Howdy, this is Ed Darty, also known as the CNC Dude from Suncoast Technical College in sunny Sarasota, Florida. Uh, you may have noticed the new post-processing tab, you know, the old G1 tab up here, and you press this, and all of a sudden you get this screen. This was kind of debuted, sort of, a while ago, coming from this thing that says Create NC Program. So pretty much all of us were using the older way. And I personally have uh, my posts and tools in the cloud. And I also set up some machine configurations that had RPM and size. And I've also used a new machine simulation, but that's different. So we have up here, I got my tool library. Tool libraries in, in my uh, cloud. I got machines now like uh, let's see cloud is in the cloud and I have a Haas desktop mill I got my lathe and my two four actually three milling machines one with the A axis and when we take the A axis off and they all have assigned post processors so if you use these configurations you'll get uh, the post that's assigned to it in case you're jumping around from machine to machine and I've even got even warnings that my RPM was exceeding what that machine can do. So there's some good settings in there. Anyway, so we've been used to using like OP1 and create a post like this way. So we post. Now we get this new dialog up here. You have to go up here and make sure you have the right post selected. Um, and... I like putting my program name and comment. If I do this in the setup, I don't have to do it here. If I am in the classroom, I want to point my output folder to where my my USB is. So if it's in a, uh, I'll just go to my computer and I'll plug one in and, and line it up there. Uh, actually, in our school, the school computers, you cannot uh, save files in the computer. So we're just downloading right to the USB. I've experimented with this post diffusion team. We wouldn't use this in our school, but you can actually also also save the code in your fusion team and figure out ways of uh, using it that way. I personally like having the open NC file in editor so I can quickly review the code, tool numbers, and uh, things like that. My post is set up so I don't have to change anything on this side. I don't use sequence numbers. I have a tool list on the top. Uh, separate word with space, optional stop. I use the G0 format, not the G1, but that's all set in my post. All, our machines don't preload tools, so we, that's all designated. So this is pretty much post it, no edits. On this page, there's operations. So we got two operations here. But right now, it's because I selected this one, it already pre-selected these. And from here, I can just hit post many of these operations. So I'll hit post. This is directing the uh, where it's going to save. I usually save it in my USB, but I got a file here. This is G-code, so I can go get it out of my computer later. And it's overwriting an old file. That's fine. And over here would be the code that I'd review. So I make sure it's labeled correctly, it's the right machine, tools are in order, and I've actually added in some notes up here. So I've been using manual NC up here to add in notes like stock size or where the XYZ is. You can add notes into things like if you needed to stop in between or force a tool change, you can actually have like an M00 command and put it somewhere in the middle. All right, so we've actually posted the code and everything. And then it pops up, this little NC program pops up. So I didn't know what that was. I thought I thought this is where they were going to start storing the programs in the team, and it really wasn't that. So first I want to click the warning. And the warning says, work offset has not been specified using G54's WCS. I kind of know what that means. I'm going to go back into my setup for up one. And I'll go to my third tab, and we usually just leave this on zero. And G zero will get you G54, but they're kind of prompting you to use number one. 
so I put that in there and then it says now it says NC code out of date so you need to you know sort of like regenerate but you don't really have to do that all you got to do from here is hit and you got to do it from this tab once you go up here again you're going to create another NC program and you're going to have a whole pile of them stacking up so I post it from here new code even though we really didn't make a change, it, th it thinks you made a change. And everything's good again. All right, I'm going to close that up. Now, let's say I went in, I run this program, and I wanted to change, like, speeds or something like that. Or I wanted to change the cutting motion. So I go into here, and I said, I, I think I've got to change my optimal load to, like, uh, 0.1. I think it can handle more. I make a change. Hit OK, and now wrap it. It does pop right up that your code is out of date. Okay. I would probably simulate this anyway. All right. So now it's my old habit was to go up here. Now if I did that, it'll work. Hit post. It'll make new code. I'll rewrite it. I go out to the machine. I can review it and say, yep, that looks good. But well, now I have two of them up here. So that's what happens. These start stacking up. And it says NC Program 3. So these are, this one's the one up to date. And a lot of people end up going and keep on deleting these things. The way you really should do it is only go up here once. Or don't go there at all. I think you can do it from, let's, let's delete NC Program totally. And if we went up here and said, Create NC program, it goes right to there, and it gets you to the same page again. Hit post. Ah, it does not contain any operations. So part of the issue there would be you have to, from this point of view, you'd have to go over here and make sure that's clicked. If you're just running this side. Now, if I were to run this like a two operation job, like two vices, I could click both of them, and it'll both be together. And if I do reorder to minimize tool changes, I can actually uh, use like the same tool and vice one, vice two, if it could, if it was possible. It wouldn't be out of order, but it would save on tool changes. So if I hit that, and it gives you a warning here. This is not a. This is not bad. Multiple setups with different WSCS have been selected. That's correct. I'll save that program. So now I got a whole program that has G54 and a G55. It should have had two face mills there. Oh, actually, I don't think we use a face mill on the second side on that soon. But you get my point. You know, down here we had contour. So that's that would have been in correct order. We wouldn't go to face mill because we were doing contour cut on the second side. Most of the operations we do face mill on op one, face mill on op two. All right. What's this thing say now? Warning. Work uh, multiple work offsets used in program. Warning works offset has not been okay. Did I not update this? Edit. That's that's okay. How about op two edit. And oh that one's still zero. So that should be two. Hit okay. Alright. Now it's now it's just out of date. And post again, get the warning, save again, replace, get the success. I, I like the review. And alright, so this is coming up as a warning multiple I but which I don't think is an issue. So the warnings, the yellow thing is not the death sentence. The reds are the death sentence. It's just giving you a warning. Personally, I don't like seeing them up there. But, but this is how this is meant to work. So you don't want to keep on going back up here. That's the old habit. So Or even here. If you go keep on hitting post again after you make a change, it's going to keep on stacking up the NC programs up here. And it, it was getting confusing for me because I used to just go delete them. And I wasn't really using this. Um, and I didn't really have to, but I could see the power in this. We got, 
I can edit. Edit is really just kind of limited uh, some of these selections. But I can use machine configuration now. If I had a machine and I go into there and I can just look it up and say I'm, I'm running it on the, let me go in my cloud, right here, cloud, uh, VF2, right? Hit select and it'll be all lined up. Hit post, hit OK. So every time I change something, it is prompting me to, to make new code, even though it's really not changed. Okay, and it's probably just uh, multiple work offsets, so that's okay. So if you're just doing one operation, if you just clicked on that one, don't get in the habit of hitting this because you're going to just create a pile of NC programs over here. You can click this one and then go to here and hit post. Or you can just go right to here, say you didn't select anything or you were on the wrong operation. You went back here and you hit post. And right now it's going to just post what I had selected. So it doesn't really give me a warning. I really should edit. So however you want to do this, if I do want to deselect that and run that again. So how you do your operation is going to be up to you. How do you manage your files? So in, in my case, uh, the, the Fusion Cloud is excellent. So if you were back here, and let's say we were saving them, uh, we're adding the team setup. So if I go to edit and I want to turn on post the team, post. Now this is saving in a folder. This is like immediate use. I could eliminate that. I can eliminate the review. But now if I look in my tree, it should be in here. Let's see. If, or if I go to my cloud. So if I go to my cloud. So there should have been a NC file in there. Let's try that one more time. So we got op one. Oh, I'm getting in that habit again. NC program. Edit. Uh, post the fusion team is on. I'm just going to put a comment in here. I should have done that in my setup. Uh, looks good. Hit post. Save. Already exists. And I think I'll shut that off for demo purposes. And the whole point is should have saved the code up here. Let me try it uh, from here. Op 1. If I do that, it's going to create more files, but maybe that's, yeah, this one's not checkbox. So I think we got to do it from the beginning. Hit post, save, yes, review, shut that off. And that's updating. And we now have two files. Oh, I don't get a warning though. So this is NC file. And usually, I think it may be on the path. I think that we need to have a path setting there. So let me go to this area again. Hit save. I want to check some of the settings here. As far as where does the... Yeah, cannot use existing code in the design. So um, let me check that post. Let me, let's go edit. Edit. And settings here, post the team. Output file is different. Than, oh, here it is, right? Fusion team output folder. So I had it directed the wrong way. So I, I think I made a file and I called it. Um, let me go back to this one. This one. Yeah, I think I had one that was said uh, NC code right there. So save. So that's where I'll direct it from now on. So now if I hit post, save, yes. And now it's now it's uploading one right there. That's going to be in the Fusion team. So you can choose many ways of doing this. It actually pops the team up right away. 
So if you had a computer out on the shop floor that had access to this, then you wouldn't need to uh, um, save it on a USB. It's, it's out in the shop. So from right here, you could download from here. Like save, save on a USB, or have if you have some kind of wireless or networking system out there. Okay, but uh, yeah, you might want to get in tune with the new NC program function now. If you're, if you want to go back to the old method in preview features and turn on. It says right here, post process with legacy post process. If you turn that one on, it'll be on the way it used to be. So now if I hit post, save, and you get the older control. So I'm actually just reposting. So uh, let me just try that again. Post. Yeah, and you get the now you get the old one here. So in this case. It's actually steering it to desktop mill. This, so this is one I should have set up the machine in the beginning. So if I select a machine, uh, Haas VF2, select, hit OK. Just by doing that, I don't have to worry about the post. It's already assigned to that machine. So this one's ready to post. And I can just shut off the NC file thing. So post. This is the older way. I think this, for myself, this works just fine. But uh, I think anything in Fusion, you want to learn this new stuff, just in case the old stuff goes away. Okay, thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you later.